The Queen's love of music has been recounted on GB News by singer-songwriter and conductor, Mike Bad, who recalled his encounter with the Royal as the Platinum Jubilee celebrations got off to a spectacular start with the trooping of the Colour Parade, and the lighting of the beacons across the United Kingdom. Music was at the heart of many of the proceedings from children's choirs to Gregory Porter performing at Buckingham Palace for the Beacon Ceremony as well as military bands on parade. Speaking to GB News, Mike Batt recalled the time he and his wife were invited to a dinner at Buckingham. At the occasion, Her Majesty spoke to the musician over a gin and she had said Oh you know I'm not very musical, my stunt Mr. Batt added, and I said I met your sister Your Majesty but I was wearing a Womble costume so she wouldn't have room. Despite what the Queen said about not being musical, it has been said that she has great rhythm and can sing very well, though no one outside of the family has heard. Mr. Bat said, the Queen apparently had quite rigorous piano lessons when she was young, it was very performance-orientated and was a handy piano player. He added, getting up after dinner at a private occasion when they had the family around and everyone was singing around the piano was apparently not an unusual thing at all. Speaking to the Daily Mail in 2016, the Queen's cousin, Lady Elizabeth Anson said, We did a lot of singing at Kensington. Nobody thought it was odd after dinner if we put on a record and all sang doing the Lambeth Walk, so music has always been part of her life. The Queen's music taste is diverse, with Eve Pollard saying Her Majesty's music collection take us, us from nursery rhymes in French and emotional 1940s ballads that kept the nation's hopes up during the war, such as Vera Lynn's The White Cliffs of Dover, to the present, with a song co-written by Gary. She added, I had no inkling that the one singing star the Queen is word perfect on is none other than the ukulele King George. Her Majesty is also fond of religious hymns and show songs such as Oklahoma. Lady Elizabeth said, These were the tunes that remained in one's head and were very danceable. The Queen is a fantastic dancer. She's got great rhythm. Mr. Bat wrote Royal Gold for the Queen and Prince Philip's Golden Wedding Anniversary which was played with the mast bands and pipes of the guards at the Royal. He said, that was the first time that I ever wrote anything for the Royal Household, but I think she just had a very wide appreciation of many different kinds of music. I think it's pretty obvious that comes from, if you had to sit through as many things that she must have had to sit through in 70 years politely nodding and if it's horrible she has still got to smile a little bit you know. Dot Lady Elizabeth revealed that the Queen also learned how to dance as a child and if you watch her at Trooping the Color, you will see that she's tapping her toes. She continued, military music means a lot to her, she is extremely knowledgeable about military music and loves massed bands, especially pipes.